Now, getting on to the show, uh, the two, 2018 rookie mini, uh, excuse me, uh, rookie mi- uh, camp, uh, mini camp roster breakdown. And we can't break, I can't break the whole thing down. It'll take an entire segment of the show to talk about this. But of course, I just wanted to mention some of the numbers of some of these guys uh, so that we'll know uh, for most people who don't know about it. Now, of course, you can always go to the Sports Coma Facebook page or the Twitter page, twitterpage.com slash the Sports Coma or Facebook, the Big Q and the guys from the Sports Coma on Facebook. And you can see we also just sign up. I mean, subscribe. You get all the latest updates about the Saints, about the Pelicans, boxing news, stuff like that. You know, come right to you. Just subscribe to either the Facebook or the Twitter page and you'll get Saints related, Pelicans related and boxing related uh, uh, updates all the time. Just that simple. Also show updates, all that kind of stuff. Just subscribe to the Twitter and Facebook pages. Anyway, get into some of the rookie minicamp uh, roster. Just to give you some numbers on some of the guys, the the, dra- the, rook- the rookies that were drafted. Traquan Smith, number he's wearing number 10. Okay, now you know who w- wore number 10 before. Well, Mr. Traquan Smith is wearing it. Uh, he is accepted. Of course, this th- this could change as the season moves on, as you as it get close into uh, to the real camp, and then of course into regular season where guys really start changing and moving around to get the number that's better for them once it becomes open. But uh, Traquan Smith was assigned and took number ten. That's old Brandon Cooks number number twenty seven is a uh, Natrell Jamerson. He took that the rookie from uh, Wisconsin. Boston Scott, the running back from Louisiana Tech, is in thirty eight. Uh, Cameron Moore, the other defensive back we took from Boston College, he's wearing 39. Will Clapp is in uh, wearing number 64. Rick Leonard, the defensive tackle from Florida State, is wearing number 73. And Marcus Davenport, the first round draft pick defensive end, he is wearing number 92. So interesting that is as well. Now, a lot of things, uh, a lot of other things are happening. You know, we also have some very intriguing prospects. Of course, we've heard a lot about JT Barrett. He's played out of Played really good this camp. Look real comfortable. Now remember the guy there's not shoulder pads in it. Has some sort of thing happening. The guys are simply in shorts and helmets. You know they don't have any shoulder pads, no padding, all that kind of stuff. They're just wearing helmets and moving around out there. And Sean Payton and the coaches staff is just trying to figure out who can do what, running plays, stuff like that. So that's pretty much all it is. No hitting and all this kind of stuff that you might think would be happening. It's simply. Uh, uh, you know, just just helmets and shorts and shirts, pretty much. Now, uh, JT Barrett from Ohio State looked really well. Of course, all of the guys that we know, like Trayvon, uh, uh, Trayvon Durrell and all those guys are there. Adam Big Hill participating. But then you have uh, the Saints uh, guys that, you know, guys like Deion Yeldon, Jeremy Irwin, all those guys, those undrafted guys, they're there. Now, the veteran, they also have some very interesting draft picks. I mean, veterans that are in the camp. Now, Matt Elam is a guy. Of course, a lot of people are familiar with Elam, a former first-round draft pick of Baltimore. They didn't extend out to his fifth year, decided to ultimately let him go. This, this dude could really be something special. He's a good talent. He has some issues uh, wise, personal wise, he has some issues injury wise, but he seems to want to have put that behind him and seems to want to get back to the business of football. Now, he's a first round talent safety that may be able to contribute, and the Saints might have something in with, with Matt Elam, could possibly have something with this guy. Another intriguing uh, pickup that this, the the uh, Saints have, as far as the, the veterans are concerned, is that they actually uh, signed uh, the offensive lineman Michael. Uh, Ola, who had uh, some experience in the league before. Now, Ola is a guy that, that the Saints possibly could use a depth. Of course, you have people like Teron Arston. You have Rick Leonard. A lot of people think Rick Leonard is extremely raw and that he would need some time to kind of kind of grow into the position. But the Saints of I mean, to be honest with you, the Saints have always been a team that's that's went out and went out and has found some interesting players to come in and help them veteran wise. I remember a couple of years ago, they found, you know, they were able to bring Raphael Bush in. And of course, Bush is a guy that came in, gave him good depth and, you know, and they really like Raphael and he spent some time down here uh, before they ultimately uh, decided to move on from him. Now this could be the case with some of these guys. We, we're not, we, we don't know. It's still very early, but 
Uh, Ola is a guy out of Hampton University. He's a big guy. Very intriguing there. And also uh, so another few games, like Tyron Walker, former Saints, who spent three years with the Saints. He ultimately is coming back. Very interesting. Sa, uh, uh, Sa Tatatu is another guy who was released earlier. He's back in a training capacity trying to make the team that way as well. They released him earlier, and now he's back trying to make the team. And, and as an undrafted guy, kind of a long shot. Some of those guys are long shots to kind of make the team, but very interesting uh, components anyway. But if you want to see these guys, see all of their, their numbers and the full mini cap roster from this from the Saints rookie mini camp, I advise you to go to the Sports Coma, uh, either on Twitter or Facebook, and you can see the link there where you can go into it and you can see the numbers and who really attended a lot of, young people, a lot of intriguing names, uh, too many to go over, uh, to mention that time. But anyway, moving, moving ahead, uh, going to our next story. We're going to talk, we're going to play a little bit of coach Sean Payton as he talked about the rookie, uh, mini cap. So we've got, we've got our draft picks, the free agents that we signed after the draft. Um, then there's a, a large number of three day tryout players, that are rookies, and then the league allows five veteran trial players. Um, so that's that's what our numbers consist of. There's a handful of players that have been with us that are eligible that don't have an accrued season. Um, any questions? What are you looking for from the veteran trial guys? Um, well, look, do we have a vision for them? What kind of shape are they in? Um, you know, they played, and so. What do we think they can do to help us? Uh, we've got a handful of positions, but we've had players, you know, Billy Miller's a guy that, you know, found his way onto the roster that way. Um, so it's really about how quickly are they getting up to speed. The same evaluation really that's taking place with the rest of the players. So with the limited exposure, what do you gauge out of these days? Do you get, a, did, do you get somewhat of the graph of guys learning? Curve? That's a little bit of Coach Payton breaking down what he thought about some of the guys and explaining to you uh, you know, some of the guys uh, who they have in the camp. When we come back, we'll give you a little bit more of that interview, as well as Dennis Allen, the defensive coordinator, will chime in. A few players, JT Barrett, uh, Traquan Smith, and of course, Devin, uh, uh, Davenport, Marcus Davenport will chime in as well. And we'll cover the rest of the topics and issues on the other side of the break. You're listening to the Sports Coma with the Q and the Guy. Stay with us. 